Hey everybody, it's John Hill Bryant, uh, along with Bishop here, uh, Bishop Milo Bryant, you can't see him, it's our chocolate lab, and my man who's off camera who says don't embarrass him, please don't, which I will, uh, which is Brian Keith, who uh, I just call him Keith, he is, uh... okay that was hilarious, <laughs> he's got such a, such a powerful, powerful black man that uh, he uh, destroyed my, uh, my, uh, my stand up there, he didn't want to be on camera so bad, he moved it. Uh, so it's John O'Brien, founder CEO. You should be laughing. Founder CEO of Operation Hope and uh, and uh, Brian Ventures. Uh, and I'm talking about the. And if you, you join in, you can put your comments below. I will uh, respond to them. There's going to be a quick video on what a real black man looks like. This is again John O'Brien, founder CEO of Operation Hope and Brian uh, Ventures, talking about what a real black man looks like. I have two examples. It's not me. So I'm on my way from my office tonight. And a guy named Daryl uh, picks me up uh, in an Uber car. And uh, Daryl uh, owns a company. Um, it is um, Daryl D. Williams in his D&J limousine. It's an Uber driver, right? And um, he um, uh, went through some uh, financial crisis in um, 2006. He was making $100,000 plus, uh, partying, hanging out. Uh, lost his mind, lost his money, uh, lost everything in, in the economic crisis, and started to think about, started, <laughs> and that's Natasha, started to think about, uh, about what he wanted his, his uh, daughter and his son to emulate. Watch how you live your life, it may be the only Bible anybody else reads. And he thought all this, this crap about, you know, uh, you know, was it baby daddy? Is that thing that the people are talking about? Keith, I'm, yeah. that's my, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a baby daddy. Yeah. No, no, you're not a baby daddy. You're a mother or you're a father, period. Hey, DJ Cole just joined. Good evening. So, so uh, he started rethinking his life and what he wanted his kids to emulate, what he wanted his kids to look like uh, in reflection of him. So he changed everything. Went to go live with his mother temporarily, reset his life, lost everything in a business that he had because he had the wrong values. Or as I said, growing up when I was 10, I had, I had a business, made $300 a week, found girls, lost a business. And it was a recurring theme in my life. He's got his, on a serious note, got his life back together. Today he has two children. Uh, one of them wants to be an entrepreneur. He's 14. That is um, the day in D, D, the J in D and J limousine. He washes the car. 14 years old. He washes the car. Uh, his son, and he drives the car. Daryl drives the car, and they are working together. His son is seeing an example of a hardworking black man and saying, "I want to be like that." And he's taking care of both his, his daughter and his, his, uh, and his son. His daughter, who is younger, uh, was with him today driving around as he is doing Uber work after work. So she gets to see what a real black man, a hardworking black man, looks like. Here's another brother. Come over here, Keith. Come, come on. Come on. This is my man. This is my man, Keith. Uh, he's, got, he's a barber. He cuts my hair. Makes me look good. Uh, he's a hardworking black man. What's the name of your business? Uh, Gentleman's Quarter. Gentleman's Quarter. And uh, he takes care of me. Now, he has uh, two beautiful little girls. Right. And uh, are, are you a baby's daddy? No, I'm not. What are you? I'm a father. And a Did you hear that? And a husband. Well, say it again. I'm a father and a husband. Now, see what I'm talking about? We didn't rehearse this. He's not a baby's daddy. What is that, by the way? I mean, that's, either you're a mother or you're a father, right? So he didn't just give birth. He took care of his kids. He took care of his responsibility. He's showing up to work uh, here at night. Gonna go home, tuck his kids. To, every time he shows up, he's got a video of his kids doing some great, going to the, going to Disneyland together, going right. to the amusement park, going right. to their recitals, right? Right. Uh, that's you know he, you know he have a video from the strip club. He's got a video from from the dance club, right? And and, and so his girls grow up wanting to emulate this dude, and then he loves his uh, wife, uh, loves his life, uh, and you know, and this is an example of what a hardworking, strong black man looks like. You can make smart, cool, and sexy. You know, cool and sexy don't have to be some dumb, you know, you know, shadow box in mythology, methodology of some, you know, boxed up dude who has no interest. It can be this dude who is living his life, paying his mortgage, running his own business, uh, you know, raising his children, taking care of his responsibilities, uh, and still able to have a lot of fun. We have fun, don't we? That's right, man. Boom. All right, so I want you to think about D&J Limousine, my man Daryl D. Williams giving you some love. I want to, I want to encourage you to uh, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You, you're taking care of your two children, and they're going to grow up wanting to be just like you. Watch how you live your life. It may be the only Bible anybody else reads. Okay, we have some questions. Role models are the best. Bridget, uh, I'm a father and a husband. 
uh, amen. She's talking about you. That's Mary amen. from, uh, uh, I'm a father and a husband. Uh, sounds like my story, DJ, uh, except I fight to get uh, <laughs> uh, his son interested in his business. It's okay. Uh, you know, your children, uh, I keep telling people, it's better they respect you and learn to like you than like you and never respect you. Amen. It's better they respect you and learn to like you than mm -hmm. like you and never respect you. It's not a popularity contest. Raising children is not a popularity contest. They're not your best friend. You are the mother or father, and they are the child. My mother, I'll tell you a quick story. I'm going to sign off. My mother, Juanita Smith, uh, she, when I was growing up, uh, she had a lot of rules, but uh, one of them was don't talk back to her. And my mother's pump would go around the corner uh, and hit you uh, like a, <laughs> I mean, she could hit you around the corner if you talk mess. And then, and she used to say, "Go get a go get a switch, right?" Mm -hmm. uh, when I messed up, and when when I didn't get a bring up big enough switch, she'd get a whole tree branch. <laughs> and I remember one day I said, "I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna call the police on you." Did I heard the police will hit you if your mother beats you? And my mother said, "That's okay." And this is California where the the, the police have red lights in their car. She right. said, "That's okay." You're going to call the, the car with the red light for me, the police, uh -huh. and the car with the blue light for you, the morgue. Because I brought you in this world, and I can take you out. <laughs> she, had no other, I had, she had no other problem out of me. Amen. The biggest gang in my neighborhood was my mother. So she wasn't playing, he's not playing, and anybody shows up in his, in his front doorstep for his little girls, better come right. Uh, well, first of all, they, they get to 18. Right. But, <laughs> but, if they, but if they come, they better come right or not come at all. Is that right? That's correct. So once again, you're not a baby's daddy. That's right. You are a... I'm a father and a husband. Boom. Uh, look, uh, learn to live your life with excellence and uh, don't settle. Uh, you know, only in the dictionary does the word success come before the word work because it's alphabetical. All right. Out. Let's see here. There's some interesting comments before we go. Uh, they're not going to like you to their teenage years, but they will love you later. Absolutely. I thank my mother for not letting me go to all those crazy parties. He's present in their lives, talking about you. Some men, some men are fathers in, pay, uh, in paycheck who zone out. Okay, I'm not going to comment on that, but, you, you know, don't settle. Absolutely, Mary. All right, we're out. This is seven minutes. Hope you enjoyed it, including the debacle with the setup. At least you know it's live and natural. That's Peace. Right. <laughs> Bye.